New questions surfacing today, ladies and gentlemen. Many new questions in terms of our Secret Service. New questions about what they knew, what they didn't know, whether this was just pure on incompetency in epic proportions. Because the Secret Service is under a lot of fire, and there's all kinds of accusations flying around, one after another, and understandably so. I mean, how is it that I can show you this picture? How is it that there was a ladder attached to one of the roofs that everybody said was a very clear threat, a vulnerable spot. They had done a walkthrough already and they knew that it was a vulnerable spot. And now there's a picture of a ladder that the guy was able to climb up on. And you saw the video. I showed it to you yesterday. If not, go back and look at that because we separated that out. You can go and look in all of the chapters and the clips from the show. There's a 45 second clip of people saying, wait a second, what about that guy? What about that guy? The rally goers are having to point out to the police and to the secret service that there's a guy up on the roof that's got a gun and nobody took him out. So lots of questions, lots of questions indeed. And there should be many, many more, but you're not going to believe the answer that the woman who runs secret service had when she was pushed on this. Here, here's what she had to say. It's going to blow you away. We sat down with director Kim Cheadle today for an exclusive interview. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously, uh, for the former president. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. The president and Homeland Security Secretary said today they had 100% confidence in you, but there are some members of Congress calling on you to resign. I appreciate the secretary's comments, and we're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. Do you plan to stay on? Absolutely. I do plan to stay on. <laughs> so clearly... There's no accountability. I mean, hey, it's big bureaucracy after all, ladies and gentlemen. This is your government at work. Kim Cheadle, whose biggest concern was actually making sure she got more women in the job and, and more diverse people as part of this secret service. That was her priority. That was her focus. She's the former security chief from PepsiCo. Yeah, that's a woke company. So that's her focus. Instead of actually trying to actually keep the person alive that's on the stage. You know, Mayorkas now had Homeland Security getting all kinds of questions. He's doubling down on, you know what, like it's fine. Even though he admitted, by the way, he admitted in an interview with NPR that their resources are really stretched. They don't have enough money. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? You spend money on enough things. You do not allow this kind of stuff to happen. You do whatever it takes, okay? But these idiots, you kind of start to wonder, did they not care I, and you know where we could go, and I'm going to be cautious and mindful, and let's get more information about this kid, et cetera. But here's my is fielding some of these questions. Watch. Do you, does the president have confidence in the Secret Service director after Saturday's failures? I have 100 percent confidence in the director of the United States State Secret Service. I have 100 percent confidence in the United States Secret Service. And what you saw on stage you can't. on Saturday with respect to individuals putting their own lives at risk for the protection of but another. But you can't have confidence exactly in them right now the because they didn't do their job. Their only job single. was to prevent what nearly happened, okay? Like, that was the only job that they had. So how do you have confidence in them? I don't have any confidence in them. I realize, you know, Trump and Melania and a lot of people want to be nice and give them the benefit of the doubt, but they failed. This is an epic failure, ladies and gentlemen. Don't kid yourself. And you know what? He and Biden and Kim Cheadle and everyone else are responsible because the buck should stop with all of them. They didn't provide enough resources. That's their fault. That is their fault. Dan Bongino making that point, my good friend and former colleague there at Fox, He's making this point and he's a former Secret Service officer. And then he takes it one further when he's asked, you know, is this woman going to resign from her post? Watch. Check the minimum to the problem, right? Because you don't know how many problems there are. So if you try to rush, rush to one problem, like the Malcolm X shooting, and there's another problem over there, you're going to wind up getting dead quick. So they did the right thing by rushing to the protectee. 
on the evac out, yeah, you do see a couple of uh, agents who one couldn't reholster the weapon and things like this. So, um, yeah, there were some definitely. And the other one was like that. five foot four. Yeah, I mean, you're going to find out in the coming weeks that the, the physical fitness standards for men and women are different. That's weird <laughs> because the protectee's weight and height doesn't change for a man or a woman. Does Cheadle get fired anytime she, soon? She needs to go immediately. She has disgraced the Secret Service multiple times. She needs to go. She needs to be fired ASAP, but Mayorkas doesn't have the cojones to do it. Biden should do it. Leapfrog Mayorkas and terminate her. Zero, zero chance. She's got to go. Well, he never fired he anybody over anything. He doesn't even know who the Secret Service director is. There's zero chance. Like, he, he fires her. No way. Did you hear him say he doesn't even know her name? He doesn't even know her name. So Dan said that. And within 24 hours, sure enough, Biden proved he doesn't know her name. Let's cue this tape, the interview with Lester Holt. Is it acceptable that you have still not heard, at least publicly, from the Secret Service director? Well, I've heard from him. But I've have you heard from her publicly? Publicly, I've sat down in a situation room downstairs with the Secret Service, the FBI, the National Security Agencies. Did you hear that, guys? Homeland Security, all the he major said, elements. He said, oh, yeah, I've heard from him. He's lying. Either that or, you know what, his brain is so fried, and I don't want to be mean right now, but I think we all know and accept the deterioration of Joe Biden. Maybe you could get away with saying, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and just assume his brain has turned to mush and he doesn't know if Kim Cheadle is a him or her. He literally doesn't even know who Kim Cheadle is. Couldn't even tell you what her name is, as Dan Bongino so rightly points out. So he's got no clue. He's not going to do anything. And in the meantime, guess what? Kim Cheadle's there at the big shindig there. And uh, one of our friends, ALX on Twitter, you should follow him, Alex, um, really great conservative tweets this out. <laughs> Saw Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle this evening flanked by a group of male agents. Interesting how Donald Trump, a former president, is guarded by a group of female agents. I'll add that are like this big. But the female director is guarded by a bunch of men. I mean, you need big men guarding the former president of the United States, not little women that come up to, to his chest. On top of that, women that... They can't even manage to holster their guns. You saw this video, right? This is clip number 33, Drew. We've got all these women that can't seem to get at their, their guns. They're trying to holster their guns and, and they're whipping the ponytails around. They, they're looking, at, they don't seem to know which end is up. And I'm sorry, but if you look at what went down right on the stage, they start shouting and it's like, what are we doing? What are we doing next? You, you don't shout, what are we doing? You, you need a plan, guys. And by the way, I wouldn't think that the plan would be allowing Donald Trump to stand up and say, no, 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 wait, wait, to look at the crowd. But you know what he sure did and yelled fight and put his fist up. And it really was just an incredible moment, just incredible moment.